In this video, we're going to take a look at a very involved complex fraction, x minus 3 over x plus 3, minus x plus 3 over x minus 3, all over x minus 3 over x plus 3, plus x plus 3 over x minus 3. With complex fractions, such as this, we need to clear out the little fractions by multiplying each term by the least common denominator in both the numerator and denominator. We see an x plus 3 factor, an x minus 3 factor. We already have x plus 3, so we don't need to list it again. And we already have x minus 3, so we don't need to list it again. Our least common denominator is x plus 3 times x minus 3. We will then multiply each term in both the numerator and denominator by x plus 3, x minus 3. And we'll do it on top as we do this, x plus 3, x minus 3, x plus 3, x minus 3, x plus 3, x minus 3. And then we can do some reducing, the x plus 3's divide out. And I'm left with x plus 3, or x minus 3 times x minus 3. Minus the x minus 3's divide out, and we get x plus 3 times x plus 3, all over the x plus 3's divide out, and we get x minus 3 times x minus 3, plus the x minus 3's divide out, and we get x plus 3 times x plus 3. What's nice is you might notice that each pair being multiplied together is essentially a perfect square. We have x minus 3 squared times x minus x plus 3 squared over x minus 3 squared plus x plus 3 squared. So we can use our squaring shortcut to help us multiply that out, but I'm going to keep each pair in parentheses because there's going to be an extra step we need to deal with when it comes to that minus sign. So we square the first term, x squared. Then we have the product twice, negative 3x and negative 3x is negative 6x, and square the last term to get positive 9, minus the second perfect square is x plus 3 squared, so that would be x squared. Twice the product, 3x plus 3x is plus 6x, and square the last, plus 9, over x minus 3 squared is what we did right above it. It's x squared minus 6x plus 9, plus x plus 3 squared was right above it, x squared plus 6x plus 9. Before we combine like terms, we want to make sure we distribute that negative through the parentheses and the positive through the parentheses. The positive won't make a difference, but the negative will make a big difference. So we have x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus x squared minus 6x minus 9 over x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus x squared plus 6x plus 9. And I'm running out of space, so I'm going to scroll down. We're going to lose the problem, but still simplifying away. Combining like terms, x squared minus x squared is nice. That's 0. Negative 6x and negative 6x is negative 12x. 9 and negative 9 is nice, because that's 0. So we just have negative 12x over 2x squared, minus 6x plus 6x is 0, another nice one, and 9 plus 9 is 18. We will want to try and reduce this. We'll have to factor the denominator to do so. There's a common factor of 2 times x squared plus 9, and sure enough, we can reduce the 12 and negative 2, leaving behind negative 6. And so we have our final answer of negative 6x over x squared plus 9. We got that answer by identifying the LCD and multiplying.